Hello, my fellow eggheads. This is Liz. I'm a Minobo certified technician, and today we're going to be discussing how to replace a hard drive and install Windows 10. If you're looking for just the installation port portion of this video, skip to four minutes and a half. So I'm unplugging my battery, and I already have my computer unplugged, and I have my screwdriver. Uh, both the screwdriver and the pry tool I have listed down below if you want to know where to buy them. Now, so in order to replace a hard drive, we have to get into the computer. As you see, I'm going to take off all the screws on my bottle panel. Sometimes there's just an easy access panel. If you can't figure out how to get into your computer, I strongly suggest looking up a disassembly video on YouTube for your specific novel, uh, model, Lenovo, because they vary drastically from model to model. Uh, realistically, any computer is going to be different, no matter the maker model, how to get inside. So go ahead and look up a a disassembly video if you don't have that easy access panel or it isn't blatantly obvious how to get inside your computer. So as you can see I have most of them off. I'm going to remove my DVD drive. And if you have a battery inside your laptop as opposed to the outside, make sure to unplug it once you get in the inside. When you're doing any sort of work inside a laptop, you don't want power. So now I'm going to take my pry tool and I'm going to pry off this bottom panel like so. And I am going to get inside my computer. Okay, so once I'm inside, you're gonna look for a hard drive. Uh, now at 3 minutes and 45 seconds I'll show you what to do if you have a solid state drive on the inside. So I removed the door. It pried off pretty easy. Uh, sometimes you have to pry the palm rest off the bottom or sometimes you have to pry the bottom off the top so it can vary. Alright so now that I've located this is what my hard drive looks like. Now we're going to unplug as you see, I unscrewed that one screw and now I'm going to pull it away from the port. So this is what it looks like. And now as you can see, I have this little caddy that you have to take off in order to replace the hard drive. Just like so. It can be, might not be a bad idea to take a picture of the orientation of the caddy on the hard drive because it can get confusing remembering with some of them. Okay, so once you have it off, this is a 2.5 hard drive. Uh, if you're looking for a replacement option, I have one listed down below with a SATA connection. So if yours looks like this, I have uh, the common, most common options for a hard drive replacement down below in the description. I've also included a solid state upgrade. So if you have a hard drive that looks like this, you can upgrade to a solid state drive. A link below for an, uh, how, where to get them on Amazon. So if I would take my new hard drive, I would put that caddy back on. And then I would put the screws back. Um, sometimes people ask, can I just swap out a hard drive for a solid straight drive? Yes, you can, as long as it's the same, uh, like you said, size, and this is a 2.5 inch, and the same connection, which is SATA. So I line it back up with the port, and I plug it back in, like so. It's really simple once you get into it. The getting into the computer is usually the hard part. And then I take that screw and I screw it back in. Now just for a second we're going to talk about if you have a solid state drive on the inside. I'll show you on this Dell. Uh, once again internal battery, unplug it. This will only take 30 seconds and then we'll go on to the installation. Uh, so as you can see this is a solid state drive like so. So we have the most common kind and then you would put plug it back in like so. So once again, we have the most kind, common kind of solid state drives listed down below in the description with the Amazon links for replacements. So if you open it up and you find you have a solid state drive like that, um, compare it with what we have down below. Okay, so you would close it back up either way and I'm not gonna show you how to close it back up because you already got the idea. Okay, so now how to install Windows 10. I'm going to plug in my Windows 10 installation USB. I have a video in the description down below on how to create this USB for free at Microsoft.com. I hit the power button and then I'm going to hit enter with that installation USB already plugged in. And then after that, I'm going to hit F12 for this particular uh, model of Lenovo. That's how I get to the boot menu. 
With some models of Lenovo, you can just tap on F12 to enter the boot menu. And with other uh, models of Lenovo, you tap on F12 with FN. And unfortunately, Lenovo has not standardized how to enter the boot menu. So if you find you can't enter it with these keys, then look up your, make and mo your model Lenovo and see how to enter the boot menu. So once I'm in the boot menu, I select the USB and hit enter and Windows will start to boot off of that USB. Now for a brief stop, we're going to talk about some installation tips and tricks. These are just some common problems people have. You may not have these issues, but it's good to know. If your computer will not boot off your USB, try a different USB port. If it will not boot off your USB, then go into your BIOS settings and make sure the USB is listed first in the boot order. And then the last one, if your computer will not boot off the USB, get to the installation screen, errors out during install, won't complete install, or literally anything else. Go into your BIOS settings and make sure your computer is set to UEFI with secure boot on. These settings are usually listed under the boot and security tab. They have to be set this way for Windows 10 to function correctly, even during install. Incorrectly set boot settings is the number one cause for installation problems. Okay, now back to the install. Okay, so you're gonna have, it's gonna go to the Windows installation screen and you're gonna hit next. I select English, the language to install. You're gonna hit install now. I accept license and terms and then I hit next. And you just have to go through all the prompts like this. Custom install only, then you can delete all these partitions. Sometimes there's a lot. You only need to delete the partitions on the hard drive or solid state drive you are installing it on. So if you have multiple drives, make sure you don't accidentally delete information you don't need to. When you're deleting this information, it will delete your data. And then when you're done, you hit next. And before hitting next, make sure you have highlighted the drive you want Windows installed on. Now this is going to take a minute, it's going to go through all these installation while it builds Windows 10 on your hard drive or solid state drive. And then it's going to say all these things. It may turn off and turn back on multiple times. Don't get overly stressed if you say it turning off and then turning on. That's pretty normal. And then we're going to get to the setup screen. Select your region. I'm in the United States and then I hit yes. And for keyboard, I want US, that's the next thing it's going to ask me, and then I hit yes. I don't want an additional keyboard, so I keep going. Uh, you can connect to a network, it tends to error out sometimes, but you can go ahead, hit connect with the one you want, and then connect. I don't want to do this, so I'm going to hit I don't have internet, which is a workaround. Then I hit continue with limited setup. Then you get to select a name for your PC. If you connect it to the internet, it will have you put in an email address. Then I hit next. I'm not going to put a password. Next. It's going to ask you all these questions. Do more access devices with activity history across more devices with activity history? I hit no. I hit accept for the digital assistant. Privacy settings, I hit accept. And that's how you install Windows 10. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.